This is the Extreme 8 by Magic Mobility. Uh, it was, this one was actually manufactured by a company called Innovation in Motion. Uh, anybody familiar in the market, Innovation in Motion of October 2021 um, got bought out by Sunrise Medical, a huge company that makes the Quickie Power Chair products. Um, but this is Innovation in Motion's Magic Mobility X8, which is one of the only true 4x4 chairs on the market. So this chair is remarkable for what it can do and where you can go with this. So if you can't go with this power chair anywhere, um, there's really nothing else besides getting an ATV or something else to go places. So this has a motor tied to each wheel, a very strong, very powerful motor. And what makes this unit nice is it has these low PSI knobby air tires that really only need four to eight PSI on them so that it can really grip um, and drive through a whole different range of terrains. So this is one of the only chairs on the market that we know of that will go through the softest of beach sand here in Florida. Uh, I have some people that are 300 plus pounds that have these chairs in Florida in condos and do take these through the soft sand to the more compact stuff. Most people can drive on the compact stuff, but they can't get through the soft stuff to get there. This chair will get you through there. Um, so like I said, it is just a beast of a unit. Uh, this unit has one mile of total drive distance. So whoever got this was not able to use this unit because it has 1.1 miles of total drive distance on the unit. Um, this unit also comes with electric tilt and electric seat lift, um, which I will show you here in a minute. And it has the light package, front and rear headlights um, and turn signals. Um, top end speed is 6.4 miles per hour on this unit. Uh, and I believe it has about a 350, maybe 400 pound capacity. I'll double check it, but I think it's at least a 350 pound weight capacity on this unit. Um, this unit does come with some nice features to it. This one does have a swing away, which allows the joystick to swing to the side. So if you want to pull up closer to an object or you are getting in and out of the unit, it does help with the joystick not being in the way. Um, let me turn it forward here. You'll see how this unit is not an inside chair. It's not going to be a chair that's going to easily maneuver inside a handicap van or inside a home just due to the sheer power and all four wheels having a motor tied to them. Uh, the current setup of this seat is about 18 to 19, eh, it's about 18 inches wide by about 19 inches deep. Um, the unit does come with flip-up armrests. These are the cantilever armrests that are tied to the backrest. Some are tied here, but the problem is when they're here, you still have a hard time transferring in and out if you use a slide board to get out from the side. So both arms do flip up and the swing away does swing it to the side. As you can see here, you have your headlights and then there are so all, all your red tail lights in the back. And then you do have your turn signals for left and right if you are driving or you have your hazard signals. Um, so this unit is really nice with the light package. Uh, now I'm going to show you what the electric seat lift looks like and what the electric tilt looks like. So the way you access your seat lift is there's a button on here that says mode. You're going to hit mode and then instantly a picture of the seat will come up on your joystick. And then you go left and right to cycle through what functions that this could have. Now this unit could have recline and electric legs, but this one when the patient bought it only had electric seat lift and electric tilt. So now I'm going to show you the electric seat lift. So what you're going to do when you have it selected on seat lift, uh, you're going to pull back on the joystick and you'll see the scissor lift start to raise. Once it gets all the way to the top, I'm going to give you your seat to ground height measurement. And then I'm also going to check. Some of these units are programmed to drive at a reduced speed when the seat lift is elevated. Other ones are not allowed to drive when the seat lift is elevated. It's all with the master module, how it's programmed when it left the factory. So let me see if this one moves. So this one does not move. This one has the inhibit in it. So you can raise the seat, but then you have to come back down and then move forward if you want to uh, if you want to drive the unit with the seat has to be down in the lower position. So right now, ground to the top of the seat is about 35 and a half inches um, at that position. Let me bring it back down. The foot plate on this unit, some of these are a fixed foot plate. This one is a flip up foot plate. So that does flip up to make it easier to get in from the front. A lot of times people flip the foot plate up. If they have a swing away joystick like this one does, they'll swing the joystick to the side and then they'll put their hands, their palms on both of the ends of the armrests and they'll scoot back into the seat. The seat on these units, like I said, is an 18 by 19 inch seat, 
but the cushion is removable and then you can put whatever you want. They sit on Velcro, so you can remove the cushion and if you want an air cushion, a gel cushion, any other type of cushion on the market, you can Velcro your own seat cushion right here. Now, like I said, this does not have electric recline, but all these units typically have a degree of recline manually on the unit. So you'll see how you can come back and recline position a little bit to get comfortable. Uh, it's not normally the drive position there, it's more closer to 90 degrees, but you can bring that unit back and be at a really comfortable driving position. Unit does come with a seat belt. And the next function I'm gonna show you is electric tilt. So electric tilt is a lot more uh, medically functional function on a power chair. Um, what tilt does is tilt is basically, if you see this position, it's like somebody pulling you backwards in a manual chair. So what it's doing is it's taking the pressure off your lower half and applying it to your back. So your weight is sitting more here instead of on your lower limb. So what that does is that creates circulation throughout your body, which will help prevent some pressure sores. Now it's not the cure all to pressure sores, but having blood circulation and getting your weight off of a certain part of your body will help with pressure sores. So once again, you cannot drive it in this position. That is just to kind of reposition or to take the pressure off of your lower half. I believe this unit gets about 15 miles on a full charge um, when you have new batteries inside the unit. Batteries are a very important part of these types of power chairs. Um, you know, if you don't have good batteries, or they're weak batteries, or you have bad cells in your batteries, your performance is really going to struggle. Um, you do have a headrest on this unit. It is height adjustable. Uh, and then you also have what they call lateral pads. These are adjustable as well, and they actually pull off. But what that helps do is that helps keep somebody's legs in. Sometimes people have a problem with their knees or their legs swinging out, which then creates the foot to fall off of the foot plate. These are called lateral pads here on your sides, which are adjustable in height and forward and back on the unit. Um, but that will help keep your legs in the unit. So it comes with these really nice, soft, I don't know if it's a gel in there, or it's a really soft foam, which might have some gel in there as well. And they're a little bit wider than average. It's about four and a half inch wide armrests where a lot of units are two and a half to three inch armrests. Outside of armrest to outside of armrest is 26 and three quarters and outside of wheel to outside of wheel is about 27 inches. So what you're going to need if you're trying to take it inside somewhere which like I said is not really an easily maneuverable chair inside it's about 27 inches in overall um, width. Overall length of the unit in case you ever have to store it or do something else with it I'll do it with the foot plate down and with the foot plate up. So just guesstimating you're about 53 inches, give or take an inch. Um, flip the foot plate up. Now it's just to the front of the front fender, which is now looking like you're about 45, 46 inches. Um, so now if you ever need to charge this unit, which you will need to after you run your batteries down, um, you will turn forward here. Underneath the joystick, you have a circle with three pins. And on your charger, you have a circle with three pins. It plugs in right underneath the joystick, other end plugs into the wall. Um, it does take about eight to 10 hours to fully charge, but your charger will turn off once it is charged. So you don't have to worry about overheating the unit. Um, and let me go back over here, show you the back of the unit. Like I said, with that much power, it does not maneuver well. You do have anti-tip wheels in the back. That's if you go up something that's too steep. Um, and your electronics are back here. They are raised up. Most things are sealed. Um, I have guys that use these in the snow. They use these going through streams. I mean, really, really take them all across and they go hunting. So I really can testify of, of what these chairs can do. And there's really nothing else on the market quite like this. Right, so we're gonna show you a demonstration over here. Um, how there's just nothing really else like this chair on the market. I mean, there is zero issue with driving this down. Um, and this could be wet. Um, it's really hard to tell kind of the dip. All right, so let's go over here where we have a little bit more of a ditch and really just show you that this chair can really power through stuff. It's kind of hard to tell, but that's a pretty good slope of a tree stump that I just went over. And up here is a good is a good ditch. Now, obviously, you can still get bounced around. Um, here, 
you also can't tell, but I have about a three inch lip right here. And so if you put your tires on there, I mean, that thing will climb over that with zero problem. Um, there's really, like I said, nothing else on the market that even comes close to a unit like this. For individuals that want to get back on the beach, they want to go out hunting, they want to get their active lifestyle back again, um, consider this chair. It's really one of a kind. Um, if you have any questions, give us a call. We're glad to talk with you. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.